Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO and my queen. The official Miss Jamaica's in the building. What's going on? <laughs> nothing, nothing. You know, my dad. Man, hey, man. Look out, man. Hey, man. I'm not going to mess y'all stuff up either because uh, you got one guy here that's a, 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 a videographer. He get mad when you say, if you don't say Kansas City, Missouri and all that. I get <laughs> sick of this old game y'all playing with niggas. We don't know, man. We don't know where y'all from. I don't know the difference between Kansas and Kansas City, Missouri, or Kansas. How do you say it? How not when you know the difference between Dallas and Houston? That's a difference. How far is, is Kansas City from Kansas City, Missouri? I guess you got a point right there. Yeah, because it's three and a half hours down the damn road. No, nah, it's only about 30 minutes. Okay, so it's a confusing situation here. Lustin Hustle, what's going on, baby? Nothing much. And, 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 and who are you? And, big dog, big dog. The big dog is here. Man, so you guys, you guys are, are are from Kansas City, Missouri, and you guys, uh, uh, you guys, I seen some stuff where y'all promote and do a lot of different yeah, things in that area. A and R, and you're an A yep, and R, and you label. got a label. What's the name of your label? Come up season. Come up season. You like that? Mm-hmm. Come up season. Well, let's talk about lust and hustle before the come up season. Let's go out a little bit back into you, who you are when you, you know, first hit the scene. When, I ain't saying jumped off the damn porch either. That ain't my show. Mm-mm. So I ain't nobody jumped off. When you first came into the point that you was a boss, nigga. Yeah, you <laughs> so All right, when I first found out, like, basically who I am and who I am, Yeah, I linked up with my boy One Bounce. No, no, no. I want to hear about you before that. When you growing up, were Growing up, growing gambling. Up in, I had a big oh, gambling addiction at a young age. Give me a young That's age. How do. old are you talking about young age? Three or two. Not about like. No, three or two dice. Two dice. We don't yeah, do three that's, dice. That's I don't, right. like I don't dice. either, though. Three I mean, dice, they do that like California. California, all that. New Rome. York. I don't yeah, do that. I don't like that. So, but, how, how, was, how, how was young, you? How young were you? About 13. At my grandma's house. Oh, 28th he, and Winslow. What's the most you ever bet for? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Like, on a shot. Eight bands. One shot. Seven and 11, and I'm taking niggas' money. <laughs> One shot. That's at the casino. Did you did you lose? Yeah, I lost. Damn. Was you hurt? I take loss all the time. Was you hurt? I was sick. I seen a nigga and come you go right on. back. I see a nigga come up, right? Take a stack of coins, hundreds, and put them on that not on the line in the field. And watch and see if that thing gonna hit a four ten or eleven or double ace or snake eyes. I know the or, feeling. Or, or, and then he would sit there and I see him lose and walk off. And I be like, damn, that nigga got hard. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's like, tough. that nigga got hard. That nigga did that. I seen him do it on black and red on the roulette table. Come up. Baccarat. That's our, that's our, That's what my go-to is right now. Drop that thing and just wait and lose. I've seen this losing part by twice. I be like, damn, that nigga got hard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad. So glad y'all ain't got a casino. Your closest casino is like Oklahoma. Louisiana. Louis- Oklahoma, o- Louisiana. Oklahoma. Yeah. Oklahoma, 45 minutes. Yeah, that ain't bad. But you can go hit that thing. <laughs> From cool, like cool. you, you, you really love gambling like that. Yeah, that's what we do. Like, I, Besides that, gambling, I don't smoke, I don't drink. So that's just me like neither. a hobby to me. Like besides that. that, artists, I got artists, promote. What's the name of your artist? Dayface, Munner. Day I got an E Baby out of Detroit, Michigan. Okay. And then I got a cousin who in BMF. Right now, it's Jay, his name Dre Sean. His name Dre in action. Okay. He in BNF, BMF right now. He a part of the uh, 12 Street Boys. Really? Yeah. He oh. on he on uh, at Tyler Perry Studio right now, working on that, like the second series. So. Wow. How did he end up getting on? And, and you A&R, so you helped develop him into the... Nah, that, he really pushed himself on that. Really? Yeah, th- this is his, uh, his uncle right here. Okay. Yeah, and then, like, it kind of fell in my lap. Like, all the stuff that I was already doing, it made sense. And then we just put it together, and then he been pushing ever since. They wow. Know, if you're trying to get to the next level, they know to come to. Him. Yeah, Are yeah. They so they know you're going to push it. You, you treat it like the hustle, don't yeah, you? That's, what I t- that's exactly how I treat yeah. it, actually. I, I get it. And I, he I, knew I he came to me when he came to me, like, bro, cuz, what? I need some help. I'm like, bro, you just keep doing what you're going to do. I'm going to do the entertainment part. I'm going to do whatever I can do, put you in the next level, get you some hosting. If I can get it in Houston, Texas, we already come down here a lot and build yeah. a little brand here. I got a homie in uh, Houston, a big homie group. Like, they a whole little group down there. They pushing hard, very hard. 
they strong, like a strong part of my success is going down there and messing with them and just learning more stuff about Texas and bringing yeah. it back to my own hometown, mm-hmm. which I had a concert last weekend before we just came here, which I had a PZ. How did it go? It was good. I brought uh, people from Richmond, uh, Cash Click Bug, and I had PZ from Detroit, PZ, Lou Graham, and they got artists like there that's pretty big on there. They go on a tour with Babyface Ray, actually. Coming up, they will come through Texas, uh, well, Houston and Dallas soon. So, wow. Yeah, man, like I said, I, I you you'd never know. How do you like the music game, though? Because it's it's a patience game, or it can be. I, I really think sometimes people too romantic with what they're doing, their craft. I think they think it's more than what it's worth because a lot of time they be holding stuff back on their artistry. But I think you got to let it go more. And I think a lot of it's times you got to keep – Putting that pressure up, you got to produce at a higher volume than what we used to. Does that do you you understand what I'm saying? I agree. I think people are too romantic and they trying to do it the old way, and the old way is not the way no more. So if you don't put if you're gonna put music out, you need to be putting music out more than what we used to because it's already strategically. Get, right? Well, strategically, but you you supposed to be an artist, nigga. Yeah. If you ain't no real artist and you ain't, it ain't gonna come off, you supposed to be talented, nigga. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then all that's going to do is make you more talented because you're working harder than everybody else. And that's, and that's correct. The ones that's winning, they work, they outworking everybody they else. They outworking everybody else. else. They outworking them. So that's the whole game with the newer artists. They too yeah. busy trying to make one project and you supposed to have five. Yeah. Yeah, I got a, uh, a female Does that make artist. Sense? I got a female yeah, artist. Boosie. She like that right now. Her name huh? is Bayface. I said Lil Boosie. Yeah, I work Everybody everybody. got to do it. If, if because, because people are looking at visuals every day yeah. and their attention span is not that long. So at the end of the day, you should have things in the vault. Uh, we remember the story we heard about Ice Cube. Mm-hmm. How far was his schedule out? A year. A year in advance. That means he already working on 2023, 2024 yeah. almost. Yeah, you got to keep the wheels. Spinning. While most everybody else is sitting back trying to figure out what they're gonna have going the next quarter and this quarter. Presentation is everything. So he already got his pat. He know what's popping. You can't call him and say, "Let's come over here two months from now," because he already got stuff going. So all I'm saying is I think a lot of times people are not caught up with the way things are now. We got to do things at a more strategic level, yeah. but then it got to be, you got to produce at a higher level, man. So I, I think if you put a song out every week for a year, your name become a household if you're talented. If you flop, nigga, you ain't good enough. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> That's facts. The internet going to tell you you good enough or you ain't good enough, and niggas don't like to hear the truth a lot of times. When you don't get but 20 likes, nigga, that's all you're worth. Yeah. It's the blatant truth, nigga. Go buy some damn views or whatever you're going to do to fake it out because you a fake nigga anyway. <laughs> you, <laughs> you just made yourself a fake nigga when you went and bought them fake views and you, yeah, you was a fake nigga now. In facts. But you was a fake nigga before you bought the views. We already knew. <laughs> you just had to show us. Yeah, yeah, now we know it. Now you putting it out there. You got your skirt tails. You got your, what they call you, slip showing. Mm-hmm. You got your slip showing. <laughs> no, it's just like I'm just talking about the the people who do that. Yeah. I'm not. I mean, I'm just, I, and I'm not really. I'm just showing you the way that the market, from me, from my perspective, the way I see it. And I, that's, that's my way truth. We see it too. We was having a conversation about that. Uh, Come up to Michael. Ride. We was having a conversation about that, and during the car ride, just like you got to be consistent with it, it, or it doesn't make sense. No, you you got to be consistent with your track with, with your craft. You got to keep putting it out. You got to keep giving them a visual. You got to keep giving them what people need because people's attention span ain't all the way there. That's right because they got so much to digest now, yeah. right? It's facts. They got so much like they don't have to look at you. They can choose what something. But if they into you, you need to bring them more that's why, into you. That's really? why I said that you got to be strategic. And I was telling bro about that. Earlier. I'm like, man, we get artists. You get different artists and shit, and you wonder why they not popping or they not blowing. It's because they not coming. They not thinking about what they need to do. They not really putting it into their craft. That's how I feel about it. I agree. I agree. But I also know that you have to, you have to be talented, bro. Yeah. If, if you take somebody and they don't pop in the process that I'm talking about, I, I would probably just move on to somebody else <laughs> because you gonna give it a, a whole bunch in when one year. When do you know that though? Huh? Yeah. When do you know that? You know it because the people are not gravitating to it, but they're going to gravitate to it. But I mean, it's been like circumstances like that. I done saw it. They wouldn't gravitate to them until a certain someone 
was able to get a hold was of. Was that yeah. share their music, Bro, post their music? Say, man, the, the, the mo- the, and I know people don't like to hear this because I'm a Birdman fan. That's my boy too. Though. <laughs> Let me just be <laughs> real yeah, with you. That, I got that's the, crazy. You hear I got the people coming next week. But anyway, shout let me let me just say this, man. Out. Cash money is is different, and I love the way that they move, mm-hmm. the way that they set people up, the the way that the rich gang era went. They knew how to move in the middle of all the situations that yeah. they were dealing with, yeah. even yeah. with Lil Wayne and whatever. They even capitalized off that. If the Birdman went to the Breakfast Club and said, "Put some respect on my name," they even capitalized off yeah. that. He They're hustling, playing. bro. Yeah. They hustling, and that's what makes them different than most. You know, that's why he gets so much flat because he really the only mogul in the South really like that. That yeah. was really all the rest of them sold out. All the rest of them really rocking with J Nim, yeah, uh, Jeezy Nim. That's J Nim. That's Jay Z Nim. That, that's J Nim. That Jeezy Rick Ross. Nobody else down there. Him and his brother. It's just him and his brother. And his brother got and, that. And he got the backseat. He don't really got. He don't that. even trip. He don't do that. And they don't, and and you can't count their money, nigga, because they hiding it because they yeah. some real G's. Yeah, they ain't even talking <laughs> like that. They ain't even getting into all that. They, they, ain't even they stay out they other people' business and all that. Yeah, no, no. But I think I think a lot of time they try to count their money, but then they be let. I'll let you say what you're going to say, but they're not going to show you their hand. And I don't blame them because I'm not going to show you mine. Real hustlers don't even do all that. I just said something the other day. Like Birdman That's never crazy. made a diss song. He ain't never talk bad about nobody. He ain't never hated on nobody. As bad as they want to paint a bad picture about him, he ain't never did none of the stuff that they really said. No, no, no. They ain't dead. And, and at the end of the day, I think it's something that every nigga that's been around him, they get millioned up too. So They do. All of them millioned up and complaining, but millioned up. Yeah. I don't know if you got a partnership deal with the new artist that Lil Baby just jumped on that track with, Rob 49. Yeah. But from the, from my understanding, looking at, and looking at Rob 49 page, he ain't really got to say it. He ain't really got to say Birdman gave him any type of this or that, or he connected with him, he's showing it. By you posting it and tagging Birdman in that, that's letting me know, and I'm in that lane. That's letting me know enough. I don't really got to. You ain't got to say mm-hmm. it. I, I see what it's doing. NBA young boy, the same thing. Yeah. You don't got it. That's my he dog. I, he, I same thing. He same thing. He don't, that's the only nigga he deal with, yeah. really. They know what they're doing, bro. Yeah, they, they, sure. they, and, and they don't care to be on the front line. They done did it so long. They don't have to get the recognition mm-hmm. for it. As long as that back end, right? That back end, right? They ain't it. tripping. They ain't <laughs> tripping. But, you know, that's the way. And I talk about them because I'm just thinking about you guys having a whole, you know, situation. Having a whole label. How did you guys even know how to even come into that that build, that that business? Back in 2014, 2015, like I said, my bro who I started with, he ain't here. His name One Bounce. He a producer. He was really heavy in it. I was just trying to figure out my lane because he was really older than me. So I was trying to see what I wanted to do. And he was like, your music so heavy. I'm like, what can I do to help my bro get to the next level? So back in 2016, we brought Chief Keith. That was oh, like the, that broke it in. That I broke it in. Him. But once he once that broke it in, we did it like in one day. Basically, had a show in Oklahoma. It got canceled. He was at KU, Kansas University. That's won the championship. Shout out to them. But uh, yeah, they had a little show up there, and it got canceled in Oklahoma. We booked them for a little, little to nothing because the show got canceled. So basically, he just sitting around. They did it in one night, sold it out. Basically, we dropped the flyer like at three o'clock in the evening time, and said it's tonight. People was like, "Oh, they faking. He ain't coming." Da da. This that and the third. They're normal. You gonna get that. That's yeah, just right, what people right. do, and they end up selling it out, going crazy, and then from there on, I'm like, "What we gonna do now? We gotta figure it out." Because people gonna want more, and once you feed them, them this, they gonna want some more and more and more and more. So I'm like, "Okay, what can we do to basically go to the next level?" So that's when I was like, "Okay, we thought about the name Come Up Season." We sat and did it and did it and did it, and I'm like, "Bro, this ain't it. This ain't it." And then we started doing showcases, and then like before we knew it, like we was just what the people wanted to see. We just had a little, a whole little lane, and wow. I just wanted to stay in my lane. That was the main thing with me is just staying in my lane. I don't like being in other people's lane. I like doing me. That's why I was like, I'm gonna be an A&R, but I'm gonna be come up season at the same time. But I'm gonna find these artists, and I'm gonna put these artists on the song with different people from my city, and then we just gonna blow up because nobody really made it out of our city. Wow, that's dope, man. Like I said, you guys, man, for you guys to even take that jump, uh, it, it says a lot. You know what I mean? A lot of people not willing to take the risk, not willing to take the jump, not to, you know they too busy take taking do, trying to do what everybody else doing. They want to be the rappers. They want to be in the spotlight. Correct. And I think that's where we we have to change that narrative. You know what I mean? We have to. If you want to be great, you got to do different. You know, if you want the same thing everybody else getting, you get the then you do results. the same thing everybody else you're gonna doing. Get the same result. You gonna get it. It's a mindset. It's the way that we think, bro. You got to think like an entrepreneur. You got to make quick decisions. You got to you got to push the the narrative. You got to do things that 
I mean, I'm pretty sure I mean, my wife know how I am. I come up with something in a minute whenever I feel like it need to be done, right? You tweak it. Yeah, like I this just this podcast. Like at first, I just came up with it. I don't know. I was like, I got to do something to change the narrative because people are not coming out as much, or you know what I mean. It's always trying to stay in the know how and what everybody else is doing. Uh, but can we do it at a whole nother level too? Like I said, we produce, we put this stuff out every day. I don't think nobody else does that. Well, we are an episode or something's coming but out four times a day. That goes back to what you said. Though. Four we gotta times keep putting a day. That content out. Yeah, just yeah, keep you, putting it out. You gotta have that vision. Right yeah. now, some of it come. Some of it'll say you ain't get but a hundred, uh, a hundred views, and then some of them will go to three, four thousand. Then you gotta understand that you're being shadow banned a lot of time too. They're not suggesting your stuff, so you can't That's get facts. this courage because something don't go and quit running everybody else trying to put your stuff on say cheese when you can say cheese on your own i love say cheese don't get me wrong and i love half paint films and i love uh all these different outlets in the dallas fort worth area but why not why not look at yourself as a real picture and and deal with the people who want to deal with you i know you're trying to intercept some content it's okay to uh, uh maybe buy a slot on some of the instagram pages but you need to have a base for your stuff Foundation. where you get your credit and your credibility for yourself. You know what I mean? I try to teach that too. But say cheese name, that's like you trying to take a shortcut. Y'all ain't hear me. Yeah. I feel you. I'm <laughs> soaking it. <laughs> I was just about to say, I'm thinking like, bro, they need your show. Like, they need your show. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody got their show, how they need to give flags and how you do it. But they need your show for how you get, you know what I'm saying? Texas is one hustling place, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It ain't fake Hollywood or nothing. They hustling. Yeah. And, and you at the position to be able to give people a different kind of game. Yeah, yeah. Well, you got to realize, too, also the lane that we're in, being that we're older, being that we're married, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Our other co-host, Money Moses, shout out Money Moses, you didn't make it tonight, nigga, but you my guy. Mm -hmm. uh, we got certain people that we deal with, and it's going to look a certain way, like Bobo came in tonight, or you got... Uh, uh, Al D three hundred. I'll have different people come on some real cool. Just to give it a different. Feel. Yeah, yeah. We we Switch kicking it, it and it's fun. You yeah. know what I mean? It's fun. So when we put this together, uh, not so much about about just about us, but um, just understanding self worth, who you are. That's important. What your lane is going to be. Do you, you? I do this for fun. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm not doing this like I'm going to come you up, enjoy I'm going to come up. You about, you yeah. enjoy Nobody, it, everybody else doing that. I'm not doing that, bro. I just enjoy doing what I do. And I'm at. And I appreciate uh, you for that, for giving me the opportunity to be oh, here. Oh, man, too. come on, man. You here, man. Yeah, nigga, sure. you here now, nigga. You family now. Once he said in that seat, it's on, ain't mm -hmm. it? Nigga, you get to all the little old uh, situations that show up. Like when I go to Detroit, I interview your artists. We about to pick this whole thing up. For sure. Go sure. look at that Kiki episode. Oh, well, I did Lil Kiki. Lil Kiki? Yeah, I did it. I yet. saw it on your page. I but saw that was at his place. Yeah. That wasn't here. Think about that for a minute. We'll pick up and go. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll see me and Derez Deshaun in Atlanta, nigga. Go look it up. We'll pick up and go. I'm not trying to stun him. I'm just telling you, we'll be in Kansas City, Missouri, nigga. When Sitting in your place. When y'all sure. come to Missouri, make sure and I'm going to take care of y'all. We actually yeah, can. Up. Shout out to that boy. Uh, huh? Yeah, definitely taking care of when y'all Who you been listening yeah. to? You going to say shout out to I was going to shout out. No, I know what no, no music. Eddie Griffin, nigga. Oh, yeah, for I, sure. Eddie Griffin. Yeah, whole <laughs> town. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, like, nigga, don't play. Columbus Sharp was on here last week. Nigga, y'all better stop playing. Nigga, y'all in, in the presence of a player. Nigga, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I just enjoy the youth, man. You guys' energy, the way you guys uh, bring it, the vision is in the next generation for me. I can learn from you guys. There's things that you guys do on that damn phone that I probably won't <laughs> never accomplish, right? It's I'd be like, these damn folks, they got it. And then y'all got a competitive market within your own circles. You see what I'm saying? It, it's, it's hell, man. So what do y'all plan to be in the, we'll just say the next uh, quarter? My next quarter, how it's looking right now, summertime. Yeah, I'm really like I said, I'm trying to, I'm trying to push the concerts because the concerts is getting my artists shows, but it's even better because I'm booking it ourselves, so I can control it. I can control my artists being around the artists. How, if we want a verse, we want a video, whatever we want to do, I can put that in the package of this performance. So if I, if you're gonna perform for my whole city, why not make my my whole city help push my artists because the wow. artists can open up. Mm -hmm. So besides that. And that's what we really about for real, like trying to just push the artists uh, just coming from Missouri, just coming from Kansas City. Like we try to give everybody opportunity. Like if you popping, you feel like your music is doing something. All right, we're going to push behind you. You don't got the engineer or you don't got the producer. You don't got the studio to go through. We got all the necessary things that you need to be able to get to where you want to be. 
But it's just like the artists, is, they got to come with it. You got to be serious about your craft. We don't want to just be wasting our money or wasting this time, no nothing like that. So that's what we try to do. Who is the biggest artist that you guys seen come out of Kansas City, Missouri, in history of hip hop? No. Rich the Factor. Rich the Factor. Nah. Rich the, what the, in history? ABC. In history. Hey, Rich, nah, Rich, we, we going with Rich. I'm going to go with Rich. For who is the Rich. biggest artist that. that, that, that Cause uh, where Tech Nine I'm, from? He from yeah, Tech yeah, Nine. Stop playing, nigga. Yeah. But, hey, but, but stop playing, nigga. This the thing. This the thing. Listen, listen. Listen. Hey, listen. We ain't gonna play like that. Rich the Factor is the Kansas City heart and soul. He didn't build Bro, the most bridges. Who? Who? He didn't build the who? Most hey, for I us. don't know Rich the Factor, yeah. but I damn sure no Tech Nine is picture up there. Yeah. How come I ain't seen Rich the Factor? Listen. We gotta we gonna give him We're gonna set that up for you because he need that. Yeah, he that's, need that. that. Because, you know what I'm saying? We ain't hating no But as far as underground know. goes, as far as like who got the streets, that's what we're going with. We're going with Rich the Factor. That's who got the underground the street. streets. He built the connections, yeah. like the California connections. You have to come up to this mic, nigga. That yeah. sounds horrible, nigga. Yeah. My bad. Yeah, but Tech yeah. Nine, he do. He got the. He got it on lock. He got whole Kansas City on lock just because. He don't got Kansas City on lock. Ain't he don't got as far as like. He he's still the yeah, they not. They not, they not playing Tech Nine. Nobody. They not. Tech but as far as like the he don't give a goal, damn because he never had that. I, the white yeah. people is the one yeah, play Tech Nine. Yeah, so yeah, what yeah. we talking about? We yes. talking about the underground or as you far as our folks go? I'm talking about just who the biggest artist that's out of Kansas. At the end of we we can say but you know what he is. But we gonna speak on Rich though because he gave us. A lane. He yeah. gave us opportunities. Tech ain't gave no opportunities to the city. Not one. We don't see him. We can't get. Him. Hey, hey, you shall get him up here. Get his. Get, uh, you let him yeah. out. Let him let him out for a second. Yeah. Let, let me. Yeah. But yeah, we, yeah, yeah. you got to stand, stand on that. You got to stand on that. Of course, this come up season, we stand on yeah, that. You we, got, you, we, you, we be under his post. We t- I'm all okay. that. Well, you got RJ, to do we yeah, not go under his post? I we, didn't want to do we that. Didn't yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, you got you got the same. Pull on up. You got to talking to that mic. You you doing a lot of talking, but you ain't really up here like you just sitting in the back talking. But at the end of the day, only when I say Tech Nine is because that's who I see. I ain't never seen what's his name again. Rich the Factor. We ain't gonna forget it. Rich the Factor. Rich the Factor. We, we respect that. We, it's a respect thing. Like Tech, you can't. We was around when Tech came up and on the music scene. You know what I'm saying? He started one way and then he switched to another. You never seen him again. Okay. I mean, he ain't really giving no opportunities. Like you, said, you said the white people got him. Okay, yeah, he, but what about my people? He not giving no game, no. He ain't opening no doors for us. How many times have we been under his post and in his inbox, you know what I'm saying, beating it down like we want to just talk to you, you know what I'm saying? We done took every avenue to really just, we're trying to get somewhere. But why do you think that he don't really acknowledge you guys? Oh, he acknowledged maybe, for sure. Maybe because y'all, he maybe he don't feel way. like y'all y'all working Good. hard enough? Man, come uh, on, yeah, man. Nobody's he working hard enough. Just, if nobody's dressing and working under his, his way, he ain't really. If you don't dance to his tune, he's really not gonna give you a certain kind of opportunity. So that's just that. Ain't no other way to put it. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. You know what kind of music he make? You said you know him. Do you yeah. listen to him? No, I don't. Okay. But at the end of the day, I understand why. Whether well, people who do support him, I can understand we why he supports. We not yeah. knocking your hustle. He just ain't. You know that's what I'm saying. But you asking us who we? Hey, listen, Rich the Fact. Uh, he 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 in y'all city. Y'all never seen him in the streets. Of oh, course yeah, we not. See him in the Where is he? 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 Where that's Where it. you seen him at And that? I saw him on AT Divine, the coronavirus hit. Besides that, you would have never saw him. Yeah, coronavirus is the reason why he came out the house. He probably got bored. So that, you, you so you telling me that the only the thing, no sh- he only catered, so he, he has a white audience. We know that. Clearly. And he has a weird audience, too, because I've had people to come here and be like, I love Tech 9 a yeah, black guy. Loyal. And he was like, I love Tech 9 and he wanted mm-hmm. to buy something. He, he came here, he dropped a freestyle. I still got the freestyle because we had a thing where we was having people to drop freestyle like for outfits. Coat, coat light base. Yeah, it's like yeah. It, he got his own people. We respect it. We support. I mean, we, you know not the streets, we're though. not knocking it. It ain't even about the streets. It's the city we talking about. He don't give us. Why is your guy not loud enough? Okay. I'm, Why I'm we can't hear your man. guy? No, no, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking uh, about the guy that y'all was big up in. Uh, who, Rich the Factor? Factor? Rich the Factor. Uh, he, 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 y'all just ain't heard him. Y'all just one of a few, but he he built a lot of, but he, everybody know him, you know what I'm saying? Underground. If you know him, you know him. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people shot him out on their thing. Like, everybody, BMF, everybody. Asked so, have him. you been, like, 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 on any of these podcasts? Have he been promoting he himself? Don't, he don't really do podcasts. Yeah, he, he don't type, do interviews. He just didn't just That's really type. That's wild to me. Have you seen Tech Nine or yeah. something? No. Okay. But, he saw him on exactly. one. No. I ain't really seen Tech Nine. But you're telling me he don't, he don't, he don't. He got out of jail. He, went to, he a little older. He really more like t- making his way out the game type. You know what I'm saying? Like, so. 
Really? Yeah. So, but he Tech Nine. They did plenty of songs together. You him know and Tech Nine. They got a great relationship. You know what I'm saying on the surface, but he ain't never really. You know what I'm saying for Tech. I mean for Rich. You know what I'm saying. Rich would be a much bigger person. You know what I'm saying. Rich got super talent. Everybody knows him. Wow. Undeniable talent. I never heard. Sales. Of him. I'm gonna look he him up. He outworked everybody. I'm gonna so, tell you like so that. So when I look his video up, it's gonna pop up like that. Sure. Ain't gonna be no video, but it's gonna be a song. Oh, he's he singing R and B. Nah, man. Songs, he rapping. Songs like oh, he yeah, rap. Yeah, I'm a man. But you saying that he don't? He don't? Well, he rap, but 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 he don't uh, do videos. He got, like, he got a couple. Videos you know what I'm saying? He got a couple on there. He got. He, he old school. He the type. How to do drop, he make listen, make money off his music? He that, been around since the '90s. Type. That nigga from the streets. That nigga in drugs. Hand in hand, like Pimpin' Kid. Nah, hell like nah, That nigga in drugs. Like how you say we don't see. a damn drug dealer for y'all, damn right hand man. Hey, listen, man. Street nigga. Well, he's from Kansas City. It ain't nothing but street Rich niggas. Gay street sauce street. to a boss. That's the you know, really. I mean, I, I got to look him up though. I, I really like. You, him. you think we can get him on boss talk? We can get him on here right now. We can call him and get him on here. I'm serious. That they, yeah. Hey, so he, who you he, think he, he playing he, with? He, 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 watch your fans. Shout out to Uncle. They're gonna be like, he need this though. If he on here, if you get him on this podcast right here, any people gonna be like, how you do it? Really. R.I.P. Fat Tone, but you know what I'm saying? Rich the Factor, he didn't, he didn't, him and I gotta find I'm this saying. guy in. That's a, they making me want to get the nigga on my show and see what he talking nice. about. Rich well, you gotta go listen to his stuff and, and see how good he is too. first. I believe these niggas. These young niggas, yeah. hell. I ain't Ask about Rich the Factor, though. You yeah, you, 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 anytime they're comparing them to Tech Nine and then they on that level. Because they in two different lanes. Yeah, but you said. Yeah, you just put him on that level, nigga. You put him on that level. You put him on the level, nigga. Of course, we put it. So if you put him on that level, I asked you who the biggest you said that nigga. To me. Rich the Factor. It ain't to me. It's the city. Our city, if they're going to have a vote, it's going to be Rich the Factor for anybody to represent the city. Tech Nine don't represent our city. You can look at him. Our city's not like that. Our city don't act like that. We don't dress like that. We don't talk like that. None of that. You know what I'm saying? We not knocking what you do, but that ain't what our city's about. And that's why ain't no more artists coming out of our city because they see that and they just like, nah, that ain't what it is. That worked for him, but they city is on that. We probably don't want that like that. And wow. that's just why. Our city is really in a real bad space due to that. So much talent, but it's really getting overlooked left and right. Wow, because of that. I ain't gonna say because of that, but well, I'm, they, yeah, they that's how, they, on my opinion right now. Yes, sir, because I mean it's getting undeniable, and he ain't opening no doors. If you're not acting like him, he's not putting you on his album. He's not dealing with you. He's not, you know what I'm saying? Wow, that's crazy. Well, you know, you gotta be careful when you start but talking about people. Don't get it people. twisted. When we have we have, men do it, debate these conversations all the time. It's a lot of people that argue really. Like, man, you hate them. It ain't hate, man. That's our opinion and how we look at it. And, and we we really in the city, though. It's a lot of people that y- y'all, wherever y'all at, but we no, whole left gen- and right. Our whole generation going to uh, agree and say that uh, Tech Nine ain't what we listening to. Every yeah. day. Like, we understand where he from. He come from our city and all that, but he got the other crowd. He got the white people. He got the cold, like the weird stuff or whatever. We we not on that. We we come Which, from a whole, we cut from a whole different club. So we, that's not what we listening to. We ain't listening to... The, the fast rapping, the, all that angelic stuff. We ain't listening to that. We listen to more trap stuff. Angelic? Is it, it devil worship music or something? Uh, I wouldn't really yeah. say. We don't really know because we don't. We, we can't even rock with it just because that's what it's giving off. Don't get it twisted. We grew up on that. We came up. Okay, we came up on Tech Nine. Don't get it twisted. I could recite a bunch of them. You know what I'm saying? But he kind of left everybody and went his way. You know what I'm saying? And, you know. Well, I like, like I say, people who say they give him opportunities, he give him opportunities to who he give them to, but. You they know, be out of town or stuff. Our city Oklahoma, ain't made artists. it nowhere for a reason. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Rich the Factor and put us on a, his back as far as he could. But, you know, he in the street, so he can only, you know what I'm saying? Well, you guys got a label now. And so, so at the end of the day, what do you guys want to do for us to change the sound or keep the sound the same in the streets, in the underground realm? It ain't even just underground, though, because I, I deal with R&B. I got a, uh, you got R&B artists? Yeah, for sure. It's How do you money. feel about it? You think R&B coming back? Go get him, Steph. There. He said R&B. R&B coming back. That nigga talking about R&B. When? <laughs> <laughs> How long is it going to take? We've been waiting. It's going to turn over. You'll like any of his you, songs. You yeah, like, 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 he, like, he got that T-Rail and... Uh, 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 we, I, I fuck with T-Rail. T-Rail from Topeka. Yeah. We, we mess with him. Matter of fact, his partner on my line, uh, Carlos. Shout out to Carlos. They down there in Atlanta right his now. His DJ working. called today to be on the show. I don't know who his DJ is, but my uh, son told me his DJ. Yeah, I, I mess with T-Rail. T-Rail really? and Carlos. They, yeah, what about... Uh, um, you like that Ride Wave sound? That's your boy, ain't it? Ride Wave, my boy. Yeah, we, yeah I fuck yeah, with Ride yeah. Wave. I fuck with Ride Wave. Yeah. I like that. I like that sound. The real genuine music, where it's coming from, something. 
From the, from, the, from the chest. There's other people that make music that come from something just a different angle. Like who? Like Mozzie. We'll give it to him. Like it's different. It's all type of people. You know what I'm saying? Rich the Factory gives music from his angle. You, know you love Rich the Factory. Young you boy. ain't playing no hey, games about that. Yeah, he represents Kansas City. Hey, that nigga say Rich the Factory. We got a couple, we got a couple mm-hmm. artists that's doing something. Yeah. Our artists is doing something. It's people but in you, the town you, popping. So, yeah, you, you, you guys listen to NBA Young Boy like that? We listen to Young Boy. I listen, I listen a little boy. bit of everything. For sure. Who does the Young Boy? Yeah. Top three artists of all time, dead or alive, you. Tupac. Number one? Rich the Factor. Who no, the number, number one, one is Rich the Factor. We going Rich the Factor. <laughs> That's hey, just what it is. That's just, can I say something? I'm say, like, but you give me a, why, why? Why Rich we the Factor? We just came off the highway. You can beat the whole highway down. Eight hour drive. Rich the Factor. He, he ain't gonna, he gonna put you in that mode. He put more Grind. material out than everybody. He outworked everybody. He, he, he talked to you. Number two. Tupac. Damn, Rich the Fact over Tupac. Mm. Number three. I'm going to go with J. Cole. Why J. Cole? I fuck with him. He he really grinded it out. He really grinded it out better than Kendrick Lamar to me. I'm not a big fan. He don't put out enough content. J. Cole going to jump on your 21 Savage. J. Cole going to jump on. You might look up. He might be on Nardo Wick stuff. He just. Uh, who is your top three artists? Number one. Here we go. Steph, don't do this, man. Here we go. Rich you know, the all of them he's going to say Rich, Rich the, the Factor. Factor. That nigga probably got, he putting, he got the money behind his damn label. Let's go. <laughs> Shout out Orca Promotion. <laughs> yeah, Orca Promotion for sure. But, uh, Rich the Factor. Rich the Factor. Number two. Number two, I got to go Lil Wayne. Of all time, you said Dead or Alive. Number three. They know. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I, like I'm different, bro. I listen to Joe Blow. Like he put a lot of material out for me. The material is everything for me. Like you could, if I could put your CD in, if I only got skip like one song where it ain't meant for me or two, you know what I'm saying? But these people, they give you one good song, two good songs out of 13, 14, 15 songs. I'm not with that. I'm older. I don't want to hear that. I'm used to CD. Put it in, and we got it. Joe Blow. I don't care what they say, and they can line the track list up. Joe Blow gonna give you more hits. You know what I'm saying? Way more hits. So, when you, you, ask, Grizzly, so when you ask the top three, are you saying like what I listen to daily? Or are you saying like a Yo, all top time? three all Top three all the time, and it's dead or alive, any genre. Any genre. I'm going to say Lil Wayne, because that's okay, my area. Number Lil two. Wayne. Uh, the GOAT. Young Boy. Number three. I'm getting that. And uh, some people wouldn't agree, but I'm going to say Meek Mill. That's my dog. That. I can live with that. He didn't say Rich the Factor. It's all right. <laughs> we, we did enough of it. Yeah, we yeah. <laughs> that's dog. That's Kansas City, but. Meek Mill? Yeah, Meek Mill. I, I really. I really we talking about about music God. wise. No, no, no. Dream Chase. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga that rap fast on every song. He don't, he don't always say <laughs> fast, but I just feel like he authentic. And uh, like sometimes he wrote, he wears emotions and shit, but he always authentic. He always going to give you the real him. Yeah, and I fuck with his music. Talented. I think he didn't got lazy. Talented. I do believe he, that he got oh lazy. I don't know God. what he's doing. He if it's like a marketing thing that he's doing or whatever, but he ain't been. I'm hard on this. I don't think he's lazy. Nah, that ain't hard. I think, nah, he's hard. You I think, think the competition is too many people beating nah, him down. Lazy. Little baby and them, all them people on his bumper. He could push. Listen, yeah. you he can't put nothing name, bad bro. out, though. You can't put nothing bad out. What you mean? That's him if he that's puts the, on. He an artist, bro. Okay, well, Kendrick Lamar ain't dropped nothing in how many years, then? That's him, too. He fell off. You either doing saying. good or because you doing bad. they scared to drop something bad. The nigga fell off. They scared to drop something bad. Them niggas, Drake, only nigga that really be consistent like that is Drake, and he been the, killing the game the whole he's time. He's not in my top five at all. He, he in my top five. I, I'm just saying how he, he consistently put I out his, people love him. He can put out anything and it go. But you, and you may not like it. Yes, y'all. But I'm mm-hmm. telling you, some damn body that's like that's it. Him right. and NBA Youngboy got it yeah. figured out, bro. Mm-hmm. And NBA Youngboy don't even have a damn Instagram page or nothing. Mm-hmm. This nigga just... Mm-hmm. Got Knows how to do it. I don't know what he does, but they, his demand is up there, bro. Yeah. You can't even la- name the last time Young Boy done had a show. When these people done saw him in person, yeah, it's been like three years. No they can't and he still brings stuff they out of it. Ain't what happened what happen when he brings something out on YouTube? Go crazy. Going crazy. Million views in a day. He break the My son, eight years old, he'd be playing it. Or he'd be on TikTok or something. It's crazy. Yeah, you Ain't can't, that crazy? crazy? You can't deny bro at all. I Shout out to uh, Never Broke Again. They whole little crew because you can't deny. You know they just reposted time. Boss Talk, huh? For real? Okay. What? That's what's up. That's Hello. what's up. Nigga, y'all better stop playing with Boss Talk. Then I'm getting in there. Getting there. Getting there. I was just about to say, it was Boss Talk, though. So, I mean, what, <laughs> what can, you expect? They be, hey, let me tell you, when they everybody watching, bro. I don't know how to do it. It just happens. 
So shout out to y'all for coming all the way down, man, from Kansas City, Missouri, and jumping on Boss Talk like this, bro. Yeah, that's a thing. Real. We be working. We tired. We last weekend was a peasy, man. We get it in. Y'all get it in. Get it in. Our working people, man. I let did, that thing fall on his leg. It's gonna break that nigga little low leg. Like, I done did an old yeah, school concert, all that. We I do all that. Do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we beat it up though. Like you say, I work everybody. This dude right here, like you say though. He, he up to latest anybody. Like, that's how he outwork everybody. He stay up to date. Who is that? Right here. Fashion, news, sports, anything that makes sense, make a dollar. He up on it. Bitcoin, he the first person that was, you know what I'm saying? Putting how long you been it. dealing with it? Probably like four years. How's it going for you? I got three shares, but I, I've been ha- having them forever. I've just been sitting on them. For my kids, I got three kids. So they been, growing? Yeah, I'm just leaving like that. That, Dogecoin, stuff like that. Sheba, I... Been on, I just play around with it. I be gambling, so I be it's put my money, money somewhere. Okay. It's money anywhere, so you know what I'm saying? Wow. Put so, my money somewhere. So if, if if you could do anything different when you started this label, what would it be? Anything that, that you felt like, damn, I missed out on that. I should have done this. <laughs> paying attention. I, I, Sometimes I can get, I don't be paying attention enough, I don't listen. Some Rainwater said when he was on here, and that's Mo 3's yeah, uh, manager. Rainwater said um, he wasn't aggressive enough. Like I, 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 and agree I, with I him felt on that. him on that. I, I felt, felt him like you. Sometimes you're not aggressive enough. Like he had a hell of a run and an opportunity. And if it, you know, and I always talk about him because I, I, it's some about the way he do business, bro. It, he got he figures it out. I mean, and I didn't really. It ain't always pretty the way he do it either. It sometimes look ugly as hell, but he make it happen. And I, that's what I, I've watched a lot of people in the last year do this stuff. I've talked to a lot of people in those seats, and it's just crazy to me how the the dice is being rolled in certain people's situation, whether it be Dorez Deshaun down in Atlanta, or it be Carl Crawford in Houston, or it mm-hmm. be. Uh, a rainwater or here or either a, a say cheese TV, you know what I mean? A Sean Cotton. These guys are strategic in the way that they're doing things and they have their own way of doing it and they found it and figured it out in the, to make it work for themselves. You know what I mean? Sometimes I got this like Sauce Walker. He do things Sauce differently. Walker. I just did Sauce Wood winning. Sauce mm-hmm. Wood winning. Saw one of his artists. I just had it, man, and uh, about he, to release that next yeah. week. He do things differently, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people, like, I be out, I move around. A lot of people don't, man, you can't deny success to me. You know what I'm saying? No matter, you don't got to like it. So it's, you like sauce a lot? I respect this game, and I respect the hustle. You know what I'm saying? I respect somebody who do it their own way, didn't, you know what I'm saying? He talented for sure. You they say, that. like, people, we call him goofy. Man, that man's getting money. You know what I'm saying? And he ain't, that's him. Like, they say black youngster. Man, you don't want to run up on black youngster. You don't, like, you know, so you can say what you want, but... That's why they could do that because anybody around them gonna play with them like that. You know what I'm saying? Like anybody around them calling them this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? So, well, y'all out of Kansas City, Missouri, ain't nobody mm-hmm. for come around y'all doing that. I mean, we just trying to bring some money around. You know what I'm saying? That's all. Kansas City needs some more money. You know what I'm saying? And can we I holding say the something? sports down. We holding football down oh, for yeah. sure. We know Kansas that for Kansas sure. Kansas? Yes, sir. We know that for sir. sure. We ain't gonna why play with his it. Face like that. We ain't gonna. Talking about no Dallas Cowboys. But my bro, played for the Texans. Whoa, why so. don't you come in here and talk the holy ah, grail of football? I got to live here. You America's don't. team. <laughs> nah. America's hey, team, no matter how you look at it. Oh, my God. And I, and I can tell you this much. You can win a Super Bowl and Jerry Jones will still sell more merch than you. Listen, uh, I'm gonna tell you like this. Though. Did you hear what I just said? Y'all got the most loyal fans ever. I ain't never it. seen nothing like this. Did you hear like, what I said? Like, when it took us to win a championship and everything. To you get can a win more the Super Bowl and Jerry Jones will still outsell you in merch. Listen, I don't he ain't know. gonna win no games. Though. He don't gotta win no games. They still gonna talk about <laughs> it. Still gonna, I mean, yeah. money is everything. I mean, this is about yeah, the money. You know what I'm saying? And he got the championships. <laughs> Let Jerry Jones go. Jerry Jones the owner. He let. He let. They need to let him. That smoke. boy, that watching. He know that this nigga. I live here. I moved here. I had to really learn. <laughs> you had to think and about it. And I pay it. attention. In our city. You can't pay somebody to put a little cheap cheap shirt on down here, this man. Everywhere pay. you go, they got Dallas Cowboys. And it's crazy. In. The Hispanics love it. I ain't never seen nothing like it. It's a coat falling. Yeah. They got Tech Nine falling, but way bigger. 
Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They love yeah. him. Like, Tech, he sell more merchandise than any other artist. I seen the list. Yeah, like, he did. Like, he, 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 Because they buying it hand in hand. He printing it up. He got a print shop. He printing it up and he giving it to you for whatever price. Yeah, nigga, hustler. You got hustling. a market. Hustling. 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 That's what I like. I, I ain't gonna hustling. lie. I might not like the person. Like, a lot of people didn't like That's Donald me. Trump. But I was like, that nigga hustler. Yeah, like, when I seen, I and, or, or either, even on the coronavirus with the shots, them niggas hustlers. Like, I be looking at, like, you a hustler. So you should look at that and be like, damn, they killed that. Even though I might not agree with it, I, I see like the game hustle. in it. I'm like, damn, I got to respect it. Yeah, that's why we don't knock Tech Nine. Like, we understand where he come from and what he didn't do. Sounds so much better when he talk right into the damn mic. Did yeah. you hear that? Mm-hmm. He the first time they done did that over in the corner. <laughs> like, you niggas suck at talking to the mic. That nigga like right there, you good Listen, at it, bro. Uh, Yo, it's you're, it's on the show. podcast, though, Look. like, when we put this on Apple and Spotify and all that, yo, she comes out creep. What's going on, buddy? What's talking about? <laughs> they say, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at niggas. Let's hey, go. Good. Y'all don't know, man. Now, see how smooth hey, that listen. nigga sound. Hey, listen. This nigga sit on the phone cupcaking all night, man. Oh, that's what it shit, is. Man, he, you know. Man, nah, I was just talking shit. <laughs> but nah. Well, you gonna get me beat up. <laughs> it's all right. You have to go home fine. next week. So. No, but I just, I, you know, I, when I think about you guys and the lane you guys are in, all I can say is consistency, content over create. Y'all get that? It's always content over create. People are too romantic. If you're going to do what you're doing, make them people that's what you work, they got to put some stuff out, bro. Hey. And they got to, I mean, visuals and everything. They got to want it. They got to want Listen, it. And if they don't, get them get them away from you fast. Don't waste your time with them. Who is he talking about? Because he, he just put it on the money for some people that's not here right now. You know what I'm saying? That, that we done paid a lot of money. I'm, I'm we dragged them and beat them up. You they start. think she good I'm pu- But we talking about Somebody else specifically An artist You know what I'm saying Who should be here But he rather does other things You know what I'm saying when, You know He our artist Super talented He blow y'all out the water With everything he play But Can't wake him up Before 8 o'clock at night Yeah that's not good We ain't gonna say his name but You got you gotta want this so bad I don't put so much money Behind this I Bro agree. listen You gotta I'm want still it be, Yeah I know it, it, But it's okay to shift gears too And if something's not working be realistic with yourself about the results that you're getting. Make sure that you focus on winning, bro. I guarantee you, if, if you, it's 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 so crazy that it's somebody out there that want it, bro, and you basically could be wasting time with somebody who don't really care to even work that hard. That person that want it is out here. You gotta find the one who wanted, who doing it all already on their own and still getting up and making sure they produce. We had a girl on here, Lordy B, last night. Dope. Crazy. She do parodies. Cardi B stuff. She, two million, five million, twenty million, nigga. They watching. They every time she posts something, Cardi B posted. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Find that person that's really, and she only signed to this one guy, like radio, shout out to Radio Raheem. I don't say one guy on here. We we call names, respect. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, she you know she only signed to him, but say if she'd have ran into a you, who, and think about her hustle versus what you doing, it's out the water. You see what I'm saying? But you got to find that person, I think. I'm just giving you my opinion that wants it bad as you want it. It's facts. Most time you find somebody that's talented that don't want it. I think more so with me is like. Did the you hear heart what I just thing. say? Hey, listen, it's man. the heart it, thing. My, I be too in my heart. Like, man, I can't that's just the problem, do him. Like, I gotta keep Donald Trump. It ain't that. It's just we don't Bill like bringing Gates. new people in around us. Like our our circle real tight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and in our but, city, it's a lot of things that go on behind closed doors through the back door. So you gotta right. really, really, really. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people will snake you there, come around you, get the information. And what do you, you think know. about working with young artists like a kid, fourteen? Oh, I already trying it right now. It's hard though because they. Tough. Parents the one be pissing me off. Nah, but yeah, yeah, get the paperwork right. But they parents gonna be playing are. games, bro. Mm-hmm. I don't even know who you talking about, but I'm just telling you the parents are gonna be the problem on that because most of the time people are dealing with vice defects and they have messed up. Yeah, I got my daughter right now. I'm gonna turn my daughter up though. That's the way you do it. That's I'm gonna the turn my only way that's gonna be popping. Lyrica for you. got bands. Am I'm I turn right? Her up. I ain't gonna play. You can do that now. I'm that's gonna turn my daughter be, up. That's the only way it's gonna work. Cause and I got she the gotta rap. want it Cause she gonna trip When she turn about 15 Yeah her mama Gonna help me though Cause her mama uh, I don't care They trips boy yeah. she 15 And she gonna flip out On that nigga 
Hey, listen. You can put a lot into hey. a 15. She flipping out, nigga. We ain't Get saying nothing bad about no baby mamas on here. We talking about a lot of no, other no, no, things. No, no, no. I'm talking about the kids. Oh, okay, yeah, for yeah. sure. At 15, mm-hmm. whatever you trying to do with them now, at 15 or 14, they flipping out. Don't even trip. I don't know what you're going to do. You're going to invest your money. They're going to flip out. But then they'll come back at about, what, <laughs> maybe 21, 22. Mm-hmm. Life, yeah. it starts to kick in. But it's sad because... You take it from experience. I'm just talking experience. I've done so much with different people. My kids have had a lot of stuff to happen. You got to I'm a business dude. So I might go buy a store. I might go buy this. All right? We've done a lot of stuff to try to implement them into what we do. Even the podcast. They don't care. They don't even care about the money. You show them, look, look here. This is what they can make. So? <laughs> nigga, pay these bills, nigga. Keep it coming, nigga. Keep on putting something on it. They don't care. And then when... It's gone, and they have to deal with it themselves. That's when it's going to be like, damn. I should have listened to Pop's mom. And man. it's going to be too late. I too hate late. that, bro. I hate, that too. I hate it, but that's the way it's going to always go down. I try to break the algorithm. It's not working for me. Let me get one question in. Go ahead. That seems like the only question I'm going to get. Well, it becomes really, we just having a good time. We just talking. I know, I'm just playing. Um, since you started your business, um, tell me one instance where you came to a roadblock and you had to learn how to overcome it. Okay, the roadblock I came up with. I don't want to go ahead. Right, the, the roadblock, one of the roadblocks I came up with, is my is like bringing somebody. Like, let's say I bring somebody. Oh, because somebody you, on here could be going through the same situation, okay. and you gonna help them get so over use it. Use you and. It's hard to say what we're going to say. <laughs> like, I, dude. <laughs> look at it. Look at it. <laughs> nah, because, but that's real shit. And it's boss talk. Sometimes you got to kind of separate from who you start with. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, like Jay-Z and Dame Dash. You know what I'm saying? It's just certain things that just have to, you know what I'm saying, go their separate ways. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people stick together and they take each other down through there. You know what I'm saying? Versus, you know what I'm saying? You know, doing things a little differently. Because everybody ain't going to always agree. You know what I'm saying? And if you can't meet in the middle, then you know, it's business. So, at the end of the day... You got to meet in the middle. And if it's a business, if we can't meet in the middle, then we got to kind of go our separate ways. You know That's basically saying? the roadblock for real, for real, is like business and friendship. That's really what it is. Mm-hmm. This is yeah, well, that's a roadblock. It's tough. Yeah, you, you got you to gotta change your method of thinking. You got to think on a business level. That's what somebody said. Who said that on here? Somebody said that even, even if they're your friend, you need to go ahead and just treat it like it's straight business. business. When it's business is business, after he hours it could be your friend. It's, it's he tough, but that. I, I, I They come to the quick. door like, hey, hey, you remember me? He like, hey, fifty dollars, a hundred dollars. Hey, get them outside. They ain't got that money. He he, he gonna get that money. Yeah, hey, he ain't playing about. It. He don't care who. I be like, man, that's such a such. But man, I support everybody. It don't matter what it is. Yeah, like, we show love for sure, but at the end of the day, business is business. Business is business. So you business don't want to get caught up just your investment too. Yeah, that'd be the roadblocks like as far as like when he's doing like the promoting stuff, stuff like that, just dealing with different artists, making sure they come on time. Some of them may not show up or just, you just never know. Oh, that ro- Let me say the roadblock we just had. Um, my boy Peasy, the club closed at 2.30. Flight got delayed at 10 o'clock. My city don't play that. Like, we don't got that city where they use just a hosting and all that. No, you better get this stage. You better perform or whoever brung them is done. He uh he drove 13 hours. It said he was supposed to get there at like 2.35. Remind you, the club closes 2.30. Like, they don't play that. It's over with. Everybody got to get their money back. We talking about. We, we ain't talking about 20000 We talking about something crazy. We got to come out the pocket right now and get everybody in the club who in here. Before they get out this door, they got to get their money back or they going to shut this club oh, down. Yeah, they gonna, that's that's facts. It's going to be a ride. By it? the grace of God, my my dude, I shout out to Peasy. Shout out to Cash Kick Bug. He got here at 2.13. They drove a Sprinter all the way from Detroit to Kansas City. They left at 10 o'clock. I mean, they left at 11 o'clock and made it to our club at 2.13. And I put the mic in his hand while he was jumping out the Sprinter. Got him on the stage and he rocked it out for me. They ain't hot. What time they close? What two two thirty? Two thirty on the dot. The club close at two thirty. Like if he, if they didn't care if he came at 
Like it's dead. Like they don't you, care you Jay Z or not. They don't care if Drake was in there. They don't. That that's the that's but the they city. They don't feel robbed Nigga, that he only performed Drake for the, a little that. bit of time. It, it's it's you the it's they closing. He ain't gonna have a club no more. Six seven songs really. really? Like he ain't gonna have a club no more. The city no. tripping. Yeah, the city. It, it, they they it, outside ready. Long, sheriff and all that. They don't play. They don't even know what time it is, so they ain't really paying attention. But and who's who's to say like your show wasn't long or short because you don't know exactly how many songs the artist is gonna perform. You don't have to. I might not even want to hear all that. So we want to hear. We want to hear it, but Peasy got hits though. Wow, Peasy got hits. Well, who okay? Well, Phil Town on Phil Town, talk to him, see what he want. Check it, man. <laughs> Phil Town, what you what? I'm doing an interview. What you got? Oh, no, no, no. If you want an interview, just hit me up when you get through here. I ain't want nigga, you run this thing, nigga. You East Texas in the building. Y'all shot, and hey, we got some guys out of Kansas City, Missouri here. Uh, tell them who you is, man. Lust and Hustle, Lust and Hustle, RJ. It's I'm, big dog. It's come up season, man. We here as a whole collective, man. It's come yeah, up season. Yeah, well, we Kansas City, Missouri. Ask him, have you heard of Rich the Factor? Have you heard of Rich the Factor, Trio Talk? Nah, nah. I ain't really familiar with the Kansas City music. See what I'm saying? I mean, that's cool. We, we got to figure this that. out. Rich, look him up for me, Trio Talk. If te- ri- ri- look up Rich the Factor, and, and, and I'm going to call you in about 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and we going to let me know if that nigga jamming, please. Okay, you say Rich, Rick. Rich the C- Factor. R I C H. Okay, Rich the Factor. All right, and we and, and he don't have a lot of videos, but look him up, and I'm gonna call you back when I'm on the way home. All right. All right. I want. Hey, I want he you on to the block. He on the. He do it. He got. I want you to send me a text and let me know about him when I'll you, let you know. listen to him. <laughs> okay. We gonna yeah, get him up sure. here. I don't care about none of that. He speaking for himself. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's my guy, man. He got to get on up here, man. He Already, really, y'all. He when represent he the city a little. He been doing it longer than us, man. They got to really understand the. The, 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 Bring the journey it. for us when to is get he coming? There. We still ain't man. Listen, we put him on the phone right now. Make a phone call, man. Call that I'm nigga. About to call somebody. Y'all no. can't even get that nigga on Come the phone, on, man. I bet you can't get tech on the phone. That's who you can't get on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Not for less than fifteen thousand. You know what I'm saying? For real? That's just for a phone call. Shit. So y'all could just get y'all. Y'all can't get, get to Rich on the Rich is somewhere probably selling CDs right now. Like Rich, you can get him pull up and get an A for weed from Rich. You know what I'm saying? He kicking it. I mean, he. I mean, he's findable. You know what I'm saying? You want a verse? He definitely findable. You know, he gonna spend some money. He hustling. Yeah, you see that? He like, mm-hmm. I do that answer. Yeah, that's him. Freeway Rick, Freeway Rick Ross was he's on, been on this Champs, show. and he shouted out Rich the Factor because Rich the Factor kind of took the name Freeway Rich. You know what I'm saying? Freeway Rich, and when he came home, he blessed him. Like you can look look it up yourself. He a bless. He say you speak on him. He said uh, love he him. He wasn't like Rick Ross. Hmm. He, he I don't <laughs> like Rick Ross, and I don't feel like that's fair. No, but you can bad. take a man identity and then capitalize <laughs> off of it and not pay the man. I, I ain't fair. You let's like still somebody man. dope selling it and then like come on man. Hey man, not put no money on their books, right? While they locked up. Man, forget check all it, about man. Them. Hey man, check it, man. I love you guys coming on Boss mm-hmm. Talk, man. Hey, got love for Kansas City, Missouri. Sure. If you ever back in Dallas, you know bring that rich. The factor. the factor. The Factor on Boss Talk 101. We're going to be looking for Rich The Factor, man. Holler at your boy, man. It's a unique hustle. And we out.